You're listening to the Weekend Sport Podcast with Jason Pine from Newstalk ZB. Super Rugby Round 6 continues this afternoon. 4.35, Eden Park, Moana Pacifica against the Blues. Blues hooker Ricky Riccatelli will play his 100th Super Rugby game when he comes off the bench for the Blues. Do you remember game number one? Yeah, I can remember game number one. Um... It was, a bit, it was a bit of an eye opener. To be fair, we played Canberra. Oh, played Brumbies in Canberra in round one of 2016 season, and got absolutely pumped. So it was. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, we ended up going not too bad that season, though. So um, yeah, it was a good learning curve for me, but no happy days. I remember that season very well, obviously, from down here in Hurricanes country. We'd had the 2015 season all the way to the final, the loss. 2016, as you say, that uh, that heavy loss to start the season and then all the way to the final, which, of course, you won. I don't want to talk too much about the past, but um, what a first season for you, 2016. <laughs> yeah. yeah, not a bad start, mate. Not a bad start, Jason. <laughs> so, obviously, uh, you've, you've spent the last uh, wee while at the Blues. You bring up game number 100. Was this a milestone you were aware of? Did you know you were kind of mid-90s when the season started? Kind of knew I was there or thereabouts. Um, just a couple of like, management or staff just sort of had a word um, when I was getting close, and then I was like, oh, really? And then... It sort of all just happened really fast. Just I didn't really, really think about it too much. Sort of just you know one one game at a time focus um, for me, and always has been. So yeah, it's just you know it's cool to cool to experience and cool to get there, and grateful for it. How are these things typically celebrated in a in a Super Rugby environment? You would have been around players who have brought up their milestone matches, fifty, one hundred, whatever it is. How are they typically uh, acknowledged inside the team? Um, it usually goes, boys usually get around you, um, more so than other weeks in terms of, you know, make, you know, make you feel, you know, just, they always, they even take the piss out of you sometimes and just say like, oh, you're getting old and <laughs> give you a bit of banter and whatnot. But, um, amongst the group, it's more just a recognition of, um, you know, the milestone, um, you know, making you feel supported and, making you feel like you've, they've got your back sort of thing um, going into the weekend, which is, you know, so like just nice. And that's all you really want from your peers and your teammates around you, just knowing they're going to be by your side and um, just enjoy going to battle with you. How do you reckon you guys are going this season? Not too bad, I reckon. Um, you know, I think we've we've still got a lot of growth amongst our group. That um, and a lot of things we can get a lot better at, or get better at, and just look look for ways to improve. But as a whole, I think we're um, tracking the right direction. Uh, um, we've got a group of guys that work are working hard for each other, and you know, being honest um, with things we need to work on, and um, being really present and trying to work on those as much as we can every every day. So I think if we can um, keep recognising the areas that we can grow in and you know, um, apply them to, in the training field and take that confidence from the week week's prep into the game, then we'll slowly start seeing more consistent performances with, um, you know, more and more dominant performances. Went over the Crusaders, of course, at Eden Park last weekend. That's something that hasn't happened for a while for the Blues at Eden Park. Uh, ha- happy overall with the way the team got the job done last week against the Crusaders? Yeah, I think um, we... Obviously, we weren't at our best in that first half. I feel like we um, took a little, little while to get into the game and um, it took us a bit to get momentum and just realise that we just need to be really disciplined here and accurate and get back into what we're good at, um, focus on ourselves a bit. And once we did that, I felt like we were um, a tough team to stop and we ended up getting the job done. So the sooner we, we can... Um, I guess nullify that and get off to a better start then especially this week going to Moana it's very important to get a good start against those guys so yeah I feel like we had a good performance but there's as always there's room for growth and um, this going forward we're looking for nothing more than to grow our, our game as a whole 
I guess when you get to 100 games, it means you've you've been around for a while. As far as your core roles are concerned, and you look at a hooker and you think, okay, throwing into the lineout, for example, are you still spending as much time on that now as you did earlier in your career, or or not? Yeah, yeah, I am. Um, I guess it's more for me. It's more a field thing, getting the reps done and banking confidence from that. I think we can't take anything for granted, um, especially set pieces of hooker, because as soon as you have a shortcut in that area or, you know, having to think about something on the field, then that's when, you know, you can have a few, um, have a tough day at the office. So, no, nah, honestly, mate, I'm probably even throwing even slightly more um, more throws in throughout the week um, now than Mulder, just because I know what I need to do to get ready for the game. And uh, I guess now you've, uh, well, uh, from the last couple of games or last weekend again, this week you'll have uh, Patrick Tuipolotu to aim for in the line at. He, of course, brought up his 100 matches as well, didn't he? How, how cool to have him as a uh, as another leader within within what is, you know, now a pretty experienced forward pack. Yeah, it is. He's, he leads with his actions, Patty, and he brings a really good calmness to the group and his messaging is really clear and um, you know, when you've got him by your side and you see someone like him leading with his actions, it just inspires the group. So, yeah, he's a really good, um, really good person to have on your side. The other part about um, your role which interests me is is whether you're wearing the 2 or the 16, and it's been a bit of a mix, not just this season, but, you know, you've fulfilled both roles at various stages right across the 100 games. Is there a difference in the way you prepare when you're wearing 16 prepared, uh, compared to wearing number 2? Not really, to be honest. There's, um, I guess you've got to prepare for someone going down in the first five minutes. You know, mm. yeah, you could end up playing the whole game. So preparing, like, um, even if you're on the bench, you have still got to be all over everything. Um, you've got to leave no stone unturned in your prep, and you know, like, and you, if you're not getting those more minutes, you're finishing the game as well, which are, you know, crucial minutes in a um, game, you know the game of rugby. So, you know sometimes that bench role can be even more, even more crucial, especially if you've got a few pressure players or it's a tight game. You just got to nail your role. So, you can't really change much in your prep. You've got to nail it. You reckon you got a few more in you yet? One hundred's not going to end. It's going well. One fifty. What are we talking here? Two hundred. <laughs> oh, I'm just taking every year as it comes. I eh? still feel young. So. <laughs> Yeah, still got a few few more, me, I reckon. I bet you have too, mate. Hey, great to chat, Ricky. Congrats on the uh, impending milestone, mate. Hope you can cap it off with a, uh, a win over Moana Pacifica. Really appreciate you taking the time for a chat. I uh, appreciate it. Thank you. No, thank you, Ricky. Ricky Riccatelli, uh, 99 Super Rugby Games, 100, when he comes off the bench for the Blues against Moana Pacifica. For more from Weekend Sport with Jason Pine, listen live to News Talk ZB weekends from midday or follow the podcast on iHeartRadio.